The Daily Show's video on this topic is monetized. We ask the Islamic Republic to behave like a normal country so that it can enjoy the privileges of a normal country. With regard to missiles, this means returning to the pre-Iran nuclear deal consensus. Iran's nuclear proliferation and development of ballistic missiles must be addressed together, not separately. Placing temporary limits on Iran's nuclear program while allowing the regime to develop and proliferate ballistic missiles is a failed policy that the world cannot continue. It is time for all nations to join us in holding Iran to a new level of accountability for its destructive behavior, especially its lawless pursuit of ballistic missiles. Thank you. That is the most ridiculous thing I have seen. The world community wants to keep the Iran nuclear deal. Our allies are the, the Germans, the French, the British. They want to keep in this deal. The world community wants to keep the deal. Let's talk about normal countries. Let's talk about Saudi Arabia. Is that who our allies are? They are the biggest threat to the world community. And let's talk. You're hurting me. You're actually hurting me. Well, you're hurting I want to. I want to ask. Do you think these sanctions are hurting the regime, or are they hurting the Iranian people? They're hurting the Iranian people. You are making a case for war with Iran. How did the war with the Iraq turn out? You're doing exactly the same thing we did in the case of Iraq. We don't want another war in the Middle East. Ma'am, ma'am. Let's you want to go outside and give How a speech? How does Iraq turn you out? Do that. How did you Libya turn out? Speech, you we that. have the people can, of Syria suffering. Time. And how dare you bring up the issue of Yemen? It's the Saudi bombing that is killing most people in Yemen. So let's get real. No more war. Peace with Iran. A lot of energy for 9.30. I think she had her coffee this morning. Well, thank you, Brian, uh, for those remarks. You're making a case for war with Iran. How did the war with the Iraq turn out? You're doing exactly the same thing we did in the case of Iraq. We don't want another war in the Middle East. You can use the YouTube tools to share this video to get the message out that we don't want another war in the Middle East. Please subscribe to this channel to boost this platform to expose the lies and stop the war agenda. See these previous videos where I prove that lies were used to justify the Iraq war.